Congratulations on receiving your Junto Metro Mule. Your bike should arrive 95% assembled, and in this video, we'll get you to 100. To start, lay your box down in an open area with the Junto Text logo facing up. Next, grab some scissors to cut the band securing the top of the box. Remove the top of your box and feast your eyes. It may help to lay your box out flat. Start by removing the two boxes inside. We'll get back to those later. Then, carefully remove and discard the protective packaging on your mule. Now, let's crack open box number two. Inside, you'll find your front basket, charger, pedals, bell, reflector, and all the tools and parts necessary to get your mule ready to ride. There should be five hex wrenches and two regular wrenches included in this kit. You will not use all of them, but keep them handy, as they can be used for other parts of the bike. Start by attaching your kickstand. Grab the kickstand and the number five hex wrench. Secure the kickstand with one hand and thread the attached screw through the hole at the bottom of the down tube. Get this finger tight and then use the hex wrench to tighten fully. Now that your kickstand is tightly secured, you can stand your mule in the upright position. Holding the bike with both hands, place one foot on the stand and rest the bike on its back tire. Next, we're going to attach our pedals. Before you begin, you'll notice that each pedal is marked with an L or an R respectively. Make sure that you're attaching the correct pedal on each side. Start by threading the pedal on your crank arm and once you get it threaded, turn the crank set clockwise until you can no longer tighten with your hand. Then grab your 1513 wrench and use the 15 side to tighten your pedal. To tighten, torque the wrench towards the front of your mule. Repeat this process for the opposite side. Next, approach the front of your bike and secure the front tire between your legs. Then grab your handlebars and turn them so they are perpendicular to the front tire. Using your number three hex wrench, loosen the front bolts with the quarter turn. This should release enough tension to twist your handlebars upright. As a good rule of thumb, center the white handlebar logo in the window of the bracket where you just loosened the four bolts. Take your number three hex wrench and retighten the front four bolts. You will notice that your handlebars can still be twisted from side to side and are not fully secure. Using a small screwdriver or pointed object, remove the rubber cap at the top of the fork and with your number four hex wrench, tighten the bolt inside by turning it clockwise. This step is vital to ensure a safe ride. Confirm the bolt is tight by turning the handlebars. If the front tire does not move in sync, take your hex wrench and tighten further. Replace the rubber cap once finished. Now, let's attach the front basket. To do this, remove the bolts on the front end of your bike, below the handlebars, using the 10 side of your 10-8 wrench, and the number 3 hex wrench. Be sure to put the nuts and bolts in a safe place while you align the basket. Ensure the wrapped wires on the front of your Metro Mule spread around the sides of the basket. Then, starting at the top, Slot the bolts through the holes to hold the basket in place while you tighten the nuts. Finally, open up box number one and remove the contents. Inside, you'll find your battery and a set of keys. Please keep these keys in a safe place. Each set is unique to your bike and we cannot guarantee replacements. Open the quick release handle for your seat post and slide the battery into place, ensuring the battery is properly situated between the securing rails. Once engaged, take your key and insert it into the bottommost keyhole to lock your battery into place. Remove the key and insert it into the topmost keyhole. Once ready to ride, turn the key to the on position. And that's it. Your Metro Mule is ready to ride. Be sure to size your seat and inflate your tires properly before taking off. 